Hi, I'm the Malt Activist and today we have with us an Irish whiskey. One of my favorites, this is the Red Breast 12, served at cask strength. <laughs> Single pot still whiskey made from um, a mix of malted and unmalted barley. That's why it's called single pot still, not single malt. That's a bit of whiskey trivia for you. So I've been a fan of this uh, Red Breast 12 cost drink for a while, and it was actually the first Red Breast I'd ever had. And I'd heard some good reviews, and I decided to just snag a bottle and give it a try. So let's do that. This has still one of the finest noses I've ever come across in a whiskey. It's it's malty, it's cereally, it's it's a bit grainy, but at the same time it has all these baked goods, like you know, freshly baked um, uh, sponge cake, and it's buttery and it's it's malty, it's uh, it's uh, it's creamy, and then there's so many fruits. Just warm, nice fruits. <sighs> Just like this fruit basket of, of peaches and apples and red fruits. <sighs> Confectionery, almost like you're in a you're in a uh, in a patisserie, right? And it's all these uh, sweet sugary baked goods everywhere so many candied fruits in here as well really one of the better noses out there so this is um, served at 57.7 percent cost strength I like the color, it's a, a pale gold, nice. So this whiskey is non-chill filtered, uh, no added coloring. Now cherries. It's a nose that keeps giving and giving and giving and this is, this is a nice, very complex whiskey. And I remember sitting with it for like an hour, hour and a half, just slowly sipping it and, and it just kept evolving over time. You should do that too, once you get your hands on this. Oh, oranges. Melons. Ripe melon. Watermelon. It's, I'm not necessarily a massive fan of, uh, of big fruity uh, noses, but this one, it's just, it, you know, it just hits all the right spots. Um, and I like the um, recipe in this one as well. Um, I think it's 75% first fill bourbon and 25% sherry casks that have gone in this 12 year old cask strength. There's a 15 year old version as well, which is lovely, beautiful. I don't think they do a cask strength of it. That's at like a standard 43, 46%. 43%, I think. Now I get lychees or lychees, depends which part of the world you're watching this from. Huge palette. And I get first the cereals and the and the candied fruits, and then more baked goods, more biscuits, more butter, more caramel, creamy, lovely mouthfeel. 
hits me with spices at the end. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. Ah, those must be some good sherry casks. And lots of vanilla. Ooh. Just ooh, overriding vanilla everywhere. This is a nice big uh, mouth-watering whiskey. It uh, coats your entire palate. And you're like smacking your lips. Super long finish. Again, just stays with you. Um, warms you up nicely. Yeah. This is amazing. This is, uh, this is one of the better ones. I really like this. And I think it's uh, quite easily available at a decent price point as well, if you can get your hands on it. So please do. My Whiskey Society, Mall Society of Arabia, is uh, having a tasting uh, this Wednesday in a couple of days uh, where we're going through the Red Breast uh, series. So I thought I'll pull this one out and, uh, you know, get a little bit of refresher on how good these whiskeys are. I'll put a link down in the description below. Follow them on Instagram. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's satisfying when, you know, you do a review of a whiskey that is just so perfect on so many levels. Makes it fun. So I'm the Malt Activist. Thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. And like always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, because when you do, we get subs and everyone knows that we love subs.